On this day in history, in 1947, the transistor was demonstrated. Let me give you details. The transistor was successfully demonstrated on December 23, 1947 at Bell Laboratories in New Jersey. Now, the lab is the research arm of the American Telephone and Telegraph, AT&T. Um, it's been called the most important innovation, should we say invention, of the 20th century. Uh, there are three key names, three individuals were credited with the invention of the transistor. There are uh, William Shockley, John Bardin, and Walter Bratton. Uh, these men worked together, but there is a little twist uh, to the story. Shockley was reported to have called uh, the invention, we'll get back to that story in a bit, uh, a magnificent Christmas uh, mm -hmm. gift. It was just two days to Christmas it's at that time, uh, 1947. Um, the reason for the development of the uh, transistor was to replace the vacuum tubes, which were said to be bulky, unreliable, and consumed too much power. Now, these three individuals, like I said, uh, played different roles. While Shockley played, uh, um, uh, been, he had been working on this for close to 10 years, uh, the other two gentlemen came in just two years, and it shocked him uh, when they were able to come up with uh, a key uh, component in the uh, transistor built-up that um, he had failed to come up with. Um, he was the supervisor on that project as well. Uh, he went on to des um, design another type of transistor called the bipolar transistor, which had superior uh, point of contact uh, to the one that was originally uh, brought together. Um, today, basically, the transistor radio laid the foundation for what we have today, the radio, the television, continued to evolve yes. um, over time. Um, that's uh, basically what happened today um, in history. The first rollout, the first commercial yes, rollout was actually in 1954. Portable radio, uh, trans uh, transistor radio, uh, was uh, put out in 1954. Now... I would like to also mention here that the scientist, the Shockley, uh, tried to form his own uh, company, uh, but that failed because um, of his uh, penchant, so to speak, to publish the uh, pay slip of his employees. He had this, you know, sense of um, weird, he was a difficult person to mm. work with. I'm bringing this up because we know that sometimes <laughs> all these geniuses, they're weird people. Uh, they're sometimes, uh, you, you, you cannot understand them. But they're the geniuses. Yeah, the way their mind work is not as normal as other people. So in that sense, um, he kind of weird them out so much that they had to leave him and go work uh, with other people. Now, I had to mention that aspect. But today, what we're talking about today in history is that the fact Transistor was successfully demonstrated in 1947 by Bell Laboratories. That's an arm of the American Telephone and Telegraph. I don't know if you have something to add to that. No, I mean, I'm just, um, every time I hear things like this, I'm always very thrilled about how far back, um, you know, there were, you know, all these, you know, inventions and the work that was done to give us the world that we live in today, you know, was done. These are... Um, you know, in the 40s and the 50s, you know, we've spoken about things, you know, in 19, you know, 10, uh, 1903, when uh, the um, Wright brothers, uh, um, you know, did the, uh, had their first flight. So it's always very, very th thrilling for me seeing how far back. We are so um, lucky in many ways. Yes, we are. So lucky. We have such um, um, huge advantage to people. Adam and Eve, for instance. I always wonder, you know, what I would have been able to invent. You know, if I was an inventor, what is that thing that... Well, you don't know because you didn't leave in that time. No, I mean, sometimes... even now. Even now, there has to be something. You know? Well, we've, we've been too, uh, how do I put it? We've been too spoiled. So to we need but to... we still have people inventing. After all, yeah. people worked on this vaccine. We didn't have coronavirus and amazing human beings came up and uh, put their um, I, I, I... intellect together. To when I was younger, it. I used to, you know, wonder if I could invent a some type of software that you can get food off the TV, you know, so if you're watching... <laughs> 
if you're watching, you know, a television program and have really good burgers and oh, sandwiches and all I could invent just quickly... stories. <laughs> Maybe I still would write someday. I would invent stories off the top of my head. I'll tell you fantastic tales. You won't believe it. <laughs> all right. Today in history also, December 23rd, it was a Sunday evening um, and a very sad one in Nigeria's history. Uh, in 2001, the world was still, um, and I think also Nigeria was still, you know, trying to understand what had happened on the 11th of September with the World Trade Center um, terrorist attack. Um, Chief Bolaigi was assassinated today. He was a Minister of Justice and Attorney General at the time um, under uh, former President Lucia Gombasanjo's government. Um, he then, of course, joins the long list of uh, political assassinations in Nigeria. Uh, Bolai, uh, sorry, Delegi won in 86. Uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, Alfred Rwani in 95, Kudirat Abiola in 96, Abiola himself in 98, Banabas Igwe and his wife in 2002, um, Harry Marshall in 2013. Uh, uh, the late Chief Bolaige, um joined that long list of um, assassinations and unsolved murders in Nigeria's history. Um, there was a lot of conspiracy theories, you know, suggesting what had happened um, and why it was so easy, you know, for his life to be taken that way. Um, Wale Shewinka, um, not long ago, also, um, you know, made certain statements saying that the Obasanjo government um, hid and protected the killers of uh, Chief Bolaige. Um, there's also numerous narrations, you know, that may suggest the reason why he was, uh, the reason he was assassinated. There's people who there's say that- There's a tussle between him um, and his deputy and his uh, party at the time. Uh, yeah, you know, first uh, of all, he had just resigned. He, he yes. had just resigned from the, he had just resigned, uh, I think about a week or two weeks before, as Minister of Justice, he has attended resignation, uh, resignation. There were um, insinuations that he maybe wanted to tidy up the Alliance for Democracy and maybe run in 20, uh, 2003 for as president. president. Um, so that one was one theory. There was another one about the um, Iola Omi and Bisi Akonde tussle. Um, it was an Oshun State uh, battle. Bisi Akonde was governor of Oshun State at that time. And both of them were having issues. Um, Omishere was um, meant to be impeached by the Oshun State House of Assembly at that time. And then um, uh, people wanted Bolaige because of the personality that he had to take sides with Iola Omishere, but he didn't. Um, and then there was some anger because, well, um, um, Omishere was an Ife uh, man. And so uh, there was that. A week before he was assassinated, he had attended the chieftaincy title being given to the wife of um, um, Olusegun Obasanjo, former president. And at that event, he was attacked. He was assaulted. His uh, glasses were knocked off. He was um, his cap, I think, was also hit off. Uh, and you know, he, he sometimes was really, really I, 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 I know it's a life. bit pedestrian, and it, or should I say, a bit um, childish to say it. But I, I need to say to national TV, I'm. I'm uh, Perception is what you want to make of it. How is it possible to pick up a gun or a knife and look somebody straight in there and your hand do doesn't fall, like it doesn't go weak? Because this is a fellow human being. You know that if you touch that person, blood will spill. The, the, I mean, sometimes you wonder, are we really human beings or we're just a, well, um, the, 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 a, a, a misengineering that is, came to be that is not the original concept of humanity that was actually made. It is popularly said that the heart of man is um, and completely it's, very wicked. It's, and it's so amazing, it's really. Not, it's not shocking, you know, seeing that people would kill for money. You know, it's not shocking to hear that people would... I mean, they're robbers who rape, they're robbers who kill. All right, let's, let's celebrate the um, man for in, in the one minute that they just told us that we have left. <laughs> let's celebrate he, he, he the was, man. He yeah. was one of maybe the world's finest orators. If you ever got to listen or to watch Bolaige speak, um, there was always the silence that you will never imagine, just hearing him speak. And it's one of the things that he was very well known for. He was also described as maybe um, Yoruba's finest uh, statesman and politician yeah, after he was World the War. Found, one of the founding members of the Afeni oh, Ferry yes. group. Yes, and uh, we also know that he fought, that's the part that I really must mention here, even though it's now a law in Nigeria. He fought the Sharia law as at the time when yes. he came up and he stopped the execution 
position of a woman who was accused of adultery. They were supposed to stone her uh, to death. Those are some of the things uh, that uh, he did. He and he was, he was quite vocal when it comes to the issue of racism. Uh, we know yes. that he was part of um, countless organizations that fought against uh, uh, racism uh, in his time. The, the, the sad thing is successive governments have come. At some point, there was so much noise. We're going to get to the root of uh, the killing of this man. It's, it's now 19 years. And it, it, Next year, it, it, it will be two decades that this man was taking away from us. It really just reminds you, you know, when people say that, you know, when things like these happen, you know, the government definitely has a hand in it or knows about it. Um, you, you can't argue with statements like that. You know, and if you also remember in 2001, after he was killed, um, former President Obasanjo also, you know, sent, you know, uh, Nigerian security agencies to quell any type of uprising or riots or protests, you know, against his death. Um, till date, you know, still nobody has been found guilty. Well, let me quote somebody that says, it will be a coup de grace if the president, Muhammad Buhari's administration, uh, they still have at least three years and counting uh, to go to get or start a real investigation into the demise of these key personalities, Kudirat Apiola, um, uh, Funcho Williams, uh, Harry Marshall, Gay. there's so many of them. So many other names. I think some even people, some people even added Dele to the Yeah, to as the far mix, back as 86, you know. he, was, so, he was maybe the yes, first. Yes, investigation needs to continue. And that's why conversations like this today in history is relevant. We remind ourselves of some of the things we're missing, some of the important information that we need to have so we can um, chat a better future for ourselves. Thank you very much uh, for humoring us most of the time with Today in History. Um, we'll be back in a bit to talk about the um, new UK variant of the COVID-19, which apparently has been in this country since August. We'll be talking about why it was not made known until now. Stay with us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.